Parker and today we are going to learn how to use transfers. Transfers can be so much fun. There are so many different variety of designs that Dixie Belle carries and you can use it on wood, glass, painted surfaces, you name it. There is definitely a design or a print perfect for any small project or large project. Okay, before we get started, let's make sure we have all of our supplies ready to go. Blue painter's tape, a pair of scissors, your project piece, which by the way, if you're using something you just painted, be sure that it has had a chance to dry for 24 hours before applying the transfer. And this is the transfer. We're going to be using the embroidered lotus transfer. Before you go any further, you do need to determine the layout and design um, using your transfers. So lay them out, separate them, figure out what you want. But whatever you do, when you're ready to start cutting, make sure you cut all of this together. There are two pieces, a protective layer and the actual transfer. So keep them together when you're cutting. And then we get to apply them. Now the fun begins. We are going to actually apply the transfers to the piece. I've already planned it out. Like we said before, we have put the blue tape on it so that it doesn't move and it's in the right spot. I have my corners and my sides that I'm going to do. And best of all, I'm going to use the application tool. It's really simple. All we have to do is start from the outer edge with our tool and you apply pressure by rubbing the tool against that plastic protective film. Keep rubbing, keep rubbing. You can pull up the plastic and check to see if it's laying flat. If it's not, put the protective film back down and continue rubbing. And you do this until the whole transfer has been applied. Ta-da! My crate is finished. I have transfers on the sides, the front, and we decided to add a little peekaboo to the middle, which looks really adorable. Now, quite honestly, you can leave it as is and be done with it, or you could decide to distress it. You could whitewash it, stain over it, or just use satin clear coat and seal it, especially if it's on a piece of furniture that's gonna get a lot of use. But for me, it's done and I absolutely love it. 